Um, so we are joined now by the Mayor of what has been voted by popular choice, and I'm not sure how this vote works, the, SH, uh, the SHIT Town of New Zealand. Invercargill wins the award this year. Huntley, apparently. I don't see why Huntley doesn't, or Gore don't get it every year. Um, Nobby Clark, the new Mayor of Invercargill, joins us now. Nobby, welcome to the platform. Lovely to have you with us. Yeah, Sean, sure. how are you? Good. Um, not exactly a great day, though, for Invercargill. Well, I, I think it's gut, gutter media, to be quite honest, for any town. It's not just because we've got it this year. To, to go around and look for the negative in society as opposed to looking for the positive. I mean, you know, call Carter, Carterton or somebody the, the best town things, but, I mean, whoever's set this up and run it clearly doesn't know what's going on. In the who country. are these people? Do you know who these people are? The... These scoundrels, these rogues, Nobby, who are taking well, Invercargill's I, name in vain. Well, I had uh, I had the media, stuff media, ring me and say that it was set up on a Facebook page. So I presume they've, they've, they've organised that. Um, but look, the, the bottom line is um, I, I'm an Invercargill ex-Auckland, ex-Nelson. Um, and I can tell you this is, is the most cost-effective city to live in in the country. Certainly housing is way cheaper than so anywhere else. So your best argument for Invercargill is cheap? Well, no, I didn't say that. <clears throat> what I'm saying Because I'd it, say there's a you, reason it's cheap, Nobby, maybe. Well, people will go on about the weather, but the, the, bottom, the bottom line is, um, you know, we've got a $200 million new mall um, um, opening. <laughs> oh, but you still might be in your heart. You've got a shopping mall. Awesome. It's got, it's got an escalator. Oh, uh, yeah. Look, hey, um... Yeah, goodbye. Oh, no, come on, Nobby. It's Christmas. I'm giving you a crack. Oh, Nobby's hung up. Nobby, well, i tell you what Invercargill doesn't have, and it's you, he doesn't have, they don't have a bloody sense of humour, do they? Does it have an escalator? If you're going to make having a shopping mall a big thing, no decent shopping mall doesn't have an escalator. Maidstone Mall's got an escalator, I think. So Nobby, Nobby wasn't real. I, I don't know that Nobby's family are going to have a very merry Christmas. Um, sure, Nobby is a bloody snowflake. No sense of humour. Oh, Nobby certainly would. No, I get the feeling Nobby wouldn't have gang members buried in the Invercargill Cemetery, though I don't know where it is. Oh, look, I think that's my first... No, that's the second hang-up we've had. Chris Carhill from the Police Association who likes one-way traffic, he was um, he hung up on me. I never picked that at Nobby, though. Nobby has no bloody sense of humour. What's happening done? Well, <laughs> Paul, that is the text of the year. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> oh, what a... Look, look let, let's be kind to Nobby. Let, let's just do a little hypothetical. So Nobby wakes up. And I imagine the texts on his phone have been going um, mad since stuff came out with the Invercargill named as SHIT Town of New Zealand. So Nobby probably hasn't had a lot of sleep, you know. And he's probably had Tim Shadbell, hey, look what you've done to the town. And um, then I ring him and I get a little bit cutesy with him. But gosh, it's that time of year. Uh, Nobby, look... Look, actually, I'm going to be a decent guy. No, I'm not. I oh, know I am. Nobby, I'm sorry if I upset you. I was just, it's just my sense of humour. I don't think Invercargill's a bad town. What have you got? I, I'll run through it. You're close to Bluff, so you get oysters. Um, you serve beer. Um, I will go and have a look for people. Look for famous people who came from Invercargill. We've got to say something nice about it. My feeling is probably the mall doesn't have an escalator, though, which is why he was really, really upset. Because honestly, honestly, if your best cup... Oh, Burt Munro, thank you. Invercargill, Burt Munro, world's fastest bloody Indian. Jeff Wilson. Oh, OK, well, I suppose you'd someone see that as an upside, Jeff Wilson. Um, what else about Invercargill? But, Nobby, the problem is, is we've got a new shopping mall. If that should come back to being named... The biggest SHIT town in New Zealand, Nobby. It's not exactly a game changer, is it? We've got a shopping mall. Most places have shopping malls. Gore's probably got a shopping mall. 
isn't it? There's a new museum on the way in Invercargill. Here am I doing, because I'm feeling a bit guilty for upsetting Nobby, here am I doing a sales job for Invercargill. Oh, OK, here's how we're going to solve this. If you are from Invercargill, if you're a son and daughter of Invercargill, ring in and tell us why Invercargill isn't the S-H-I-T-T-I-E-S town in New Zealand. Um, all right, and we'll still talk about the cemetery issues. I can't believe that. Poor old Nobby. Poor old Nobby being hung up on, oh, be hanging up on me. And he didn't just thought sort of goodbye. This has just kicked something out. Now, our friend Tina Nixon, mate of antisocial criminal Harry Tam, Tina Nixon's from Invercargill. There you go. There's another good thing about Invercargill. And, geez, I love this. <laughs> the text's going off. Um, I think... <laughs> this is so good, Paul. I think Nobby was too busy to talk to you. He's packing for his Christmas holiday in Huntley. <laughs> Oh, that's a that is that's just bloody gold, isn't it? Just bloody gold. Um, Sean, how on earth do you expect gang members to call and be a good few hours until they wake up or off a hard night of prospect recruitment and meth consumption? Says Colin. Yeah, probably right, Colin. Sean Invercargill. Nothing changed since 1965. The Rolling Stones called it the a hole of the world. Says Dave. Did they really find me the direct quote, Dave? That sounds like an urban myth to me. Oh, Avis, I suspect. Why do I take your call and suspect I'm in trouble? Oh, you are so getting coal in your blimmin' stocking this year, lad. <laughs> Look, I wasn't. I was giving coal. Nobby a chance to reply to the unjust criticism. See, those who, those of us who are, <laughs> who knows I sense of humour could definitely hear the tone. I've got to honestly say, it was good. Well done, Sean. But, but, Nobby has walked into a series of real challenges, and I've got to say, the guy is rising to them and conquering as he goes. Is he rising on an escalator, his- though? Yes. Oh, well, I've not actually been in the new mall, so I have to confess that, but I'm, I'm pretty certain it does have an escalator. Kmart does, so the new mall will. Then what was the problem with the question? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'd say possibly wrong side of the bed, half asleep, not enough coffee. I've had two, so I'm fine. But, um, yeah, no, Invercargill's actually come a long way. I, I mean, that shitty town, they, they do that every year. There's nothing new in that, but it's no use taking offence to it because it's just their bit of poke the fun. And sooner or later, Invercargill was going to get it. I mean, goodness knows, it's been running for, what, four or five years or more, I think. So, anyway. Yeah, OK. Well, at least at least Winton wasn't named, didn't win oh, the award. Well, that could be next year. That yeah. could be our claim to find next year. Yeah, <laughs> uh, apparently Ash Burton was looking to change its slogan from whatever it takes, and someone suggested possibly better than gore as a, as a slogan. Oh, you see, the thing is, there are certain towns around this country that you naturally slag off at. But if you, if you look at the lifestyle down here, compared to other places, it's actually pretty ripper. You can go to the Catlins, you've got beaches, you've got actually really good weather overall. Yeah. And just because it's cold in the wintertime, well, suck it up, snowflake. Put on an extra layer and yeah. a And, you know, and the cargo has got a shopping mall. I mean, be, be still my exactly. beating heart. Yeah, yeah we've got um, Richardson's Truck World. We've got... Um, Good pot, we've got excellent swimming facilities, sports facilities, yeah. um, good schools. I mean, the thing is, so Sean, that we've become so sodding serious about so much that we actually forget to have a laugh. So, you know, everybody mm. just lighten up a little bit. All have right, kind of should I say sorry to Nobby for upsetting him? I don't know where it came from. I feel quite no, hurt um, myself, Avis. Well, I've got, oh, come on, you. Toughen up, sunshine. Oh. Um, take a concrete pill. Um, no, I, I would... It is out... Of, for me, that's out, of, that's out of context 
for, All right. for Nobby. It's not a character. So I forgive for Nobby. I show a little bit of Christmas sort of spirit. Yeah, send him a text message and apologise, you old goat. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Okay. Avis, <laughs> no. I thank, I thank you for your call. Lovely talking. Avis from Winton, which missed this year's award. Who votes in this thing? How do you become a registered voter in this thing? Is it like a Facebook? Is it just a Facebook page? It's Kelly? literally just a Facebook page of the... Uh, what Isis. a bunch of trolls, That's actually. Good. Yeah, what a bunch of trolls. There are some cool things that I've just found about what? in the car. Well, apparently it's got two salmon farms. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, One the, would be enough, would be sufficient. I would say so. But no, get this, they've got an oat milk factory. Yeah. And they are the, they are the cloudiest city in New Zealand. Mm, don't know you want to be putting that on the headlines. Don't know. The second windiest city behind us in Wellington. Yeah, yeah. And um, they have the southernmost KFC in the world, so... The southernmost KFC. Well, why didn't Nobby lead with that? Sub-Antarctic KFC. Jeez, Nobby, you just mishandled it. You should have media trained for that. You do not lead... Or well, if you're going to leave, we say we've got a shopping mall with an escalator in it. Because that was the natural supplementary question, Nobby.